You're welcome to another video of CLI-based network automation using Python Nornier based on Cisco devices. In this section, we are going to talk about two specific Python Nornier library, inventory management and multi-threading. With inventory management, you can keep a list of devices, device groups and their properties inside inventory files rather than to be configured inside Python automation Python script itself and multi-threading which gives the capability to run python automation script on multiple devices at the same time and concurrently in order to connect to a device and automate it we need the ip address of the device the username and password connect to the device it's also important to know which platform each device has if it is a Cisco iOS XE device, iOS XR device, a Juniper Jonas device. If you want to configure and automate multiple devices from your Python code, you need to run the script on the group name that those devices are a member of. All of this information can be configured inside inventory files and not in the Python code itself. Simple inventory is the embedded version of inventory management in Python Nornier library that we will use throughout the course. However, there are a few other inventory management options which we introduce in summary in this section and in more details in a specific and separate section. In Nornier simple inventory, we have three inventory files to list the devices, group of devices and their property mostly defined in host.yaml, group.yaml, and default.yaml. As the name suggests, the list of devices, the IP address of each device, the group names each device belongs to, and any other properties unique to each device are configured in host.yaml inventory file. Group names can be arbitrary names based on device type, device vendor, device geographical location, and any other types useful for automation infrastructure. A device can be a member of multiple groups. All properties shared by devices in a group are configured in groups.yaml inventory file. As an example, all devices with the same device type and vendor have the same platform, so the platform property can be configured in the groups.yaml inventory file. And finally, the properties shared by all devices are configured in defaults.yaml inventory file. As an example, we will probably use the same username and password to connect to all devices. In this case, the username and password can be configured in the defaults.yaml inventory file. A specific property can be configured in multiple inventory files. In this case, host YAMLs is preferred over groups.yaml and group.yamls is preferred over defaults.yaml. For example, if all devices have the same username and password but it differs on a specific device, the username and password properties can be configured in defaults.yaml inventory file and will be overridden by the username and password in that specific device in Haas YAML inventory file. These are inventory and config files that I've already created, configs.yaml, defaults.yaml, groups.yaml, and Haas.yaml. If we look at inside Haas.yaml, cat Haas.yaml, three devices are one, R2 and R3 is created. R1 and R2 are Cisco devices, but R3 is a Juniper device. A group based on vendor and a group based on device type is created. Cisco Rotor, Cisco Rotor, and Juniper Rotor. All three devices are member of Rotor group at the same time. Rotors R1 and R2 are member of Cisco group and R3 is a member of Juniper group. For each device, username and password is created, but it is 
commented as you can see in all rotors except rotor 3 it is because all devices except rotor 3 have the same username and password therefore it can be configured in defaults.yaml file as we will see shortly only the username and password for rotor r3 is separately configured in host but yaml inventory file and it is preferred over what we configure in defaults.yaml cat groups.yaml in groups.yaml inventory file we configure properties shared by devices in each group here all devices in cisco group have the same platform property they are all based on cisco ios platform and all Juniper devices have the same Jonos platform. For the rotor group, no specific property is configured, but the group itself must be configured in group's YAML inventory file. Group names help also to run a script in all devices in the same group with calling just the group name inside the python automation code which you will see in the next sections and defaults.yaml and finally inside defaults.yaml default username default password and default platform is configured any device or device group with different username password platform will be configured inside device a specific section in host .yaml inventory file or group a specific section in groups yaml inventory file simple inventory is the embedded version of the nonia library details of which you can see in the github nonia project if you search github nonia and then go inside nonia and then plugin and then inventory and then simple inventory here there is a class with the name of simple inventory which we will use during the course but in addition to the simple inventory there are also other inventory options to be used with nonier nonier project website is nonier.tech under projects nonier and then plugins and finally the list of plugins as you can see that are integrated into nonier project there are different type of plugins but there are some plugins that can be used as inventory inside the nonier library we can search with the word inventory as you can see there are many plugins that can be used also as a inventory management in nonier one of the most popular inventory plugins is Nornier Netbox, which we will implement at the end of this course. The other famous option is Nornier Ansible, which we have already used in Ansible course, which is, exists in the Raika website. Another feature of Python Nornia library is the capability to automate multiple devices at once. This feature is called runner inside the Nornia website and then Nornia and then plugins runner inside the runner. And one option is serial runner in which each device is automated after the other and serially. The other option is thread runner in which devices are automated using threads and simultaneously. The configuration of which runner to use in Nornier library is done through the Nornier config file, cat config files. In the config file, and in the section inventory we can define the type of inventory to be used we will using simple inventory plugins throughout the course except for the section related to 
net box inventory in the options inside the inventory we define the name of inventory files that we use in known projects that we have already created host.yaml group.yaml and defaults.yaml in the runner section of config define the type of runner to be used in Nornia project by default it is serial uh, runner here we enable traded which means Nornia script will be run simultaneously over multiple devices the number of concurrent devices can be defined under Nornia workers option the more devices you automate at the same time you need, of course, in the automation controller, more resources. And finally, you can download the sample Nornier inventory project and multi-trading from my GitHub, Asatpur, and then Python Nornier, and then 2023, and the first is inventory Trading and config YAML, default YAML, group YAML, and host YAML is already uploaded in the GitHub website.